Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 13th of February 2022. And yes, I am here with a video today. Um, unlike what I said yesterday when I th kind of said I might not be doing one, but I've got something quite important and quite urgent for your attention. Now, there's a government consultation not the one about the uh, human rights, which I'll be talking about in a video coming up pretty soon, but there's another one and it's actually called uh, Revoking Big V as a condition of deployment across all health and social care. Now, I know they announced the end of mandates for the November Hotel Sierra and kind of care home workers, etc. But it seems like they're trying to do it through the back door, um, kind of trying to make it a condition of future employment or changes of contract to, yeah, you basically have to have your um, big V up to date before they'll employ you or let you change jobs within the uh, service if you know you're already there or uh, already employed there. So it's really uh, something that's very sneaky and they've got this consultation which you can go on to. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. So you can click on that and go in and hopefully give them what for. <laughs> and um, But there is a, well, again, another very sneaky thing. They've only given us until the 16th, which is only two or three days away uh, to complete this consultation. But hopefully it'll only take you 10 minutes to do and then it's done and dusted and if there's enough people giving negative input to it uh, hopefully that will make them think twice so i thought i'd just mention it and let you go and see that and at least and hopefully hopefully fill it out and submit your opinion as a link will be in the description box below there for you so uh, I've been thinking about what I'm going to be doing in the future, um, not only as far as this channel is concerned, but as far as my life generally is concerned, my working life at least. And as it stands at the moment, it looks like we're coming out of the nightmare that we've been in for the last couple of years and for now at least it looks like that's what's happening and being the optimist that i am i think that will continue as more and more sort of re revelations come out and that then begs the quest question what am i going to do with this channel because it's not going to be the uh, um support kind of crisis support thing that it has been up till now uh, because well there hopefully not be so much of a crisis uh, to contend with but obviously this channel's not going to go anywhere and I do believe that there is a future for what's called citizen journalists I'm, as you know, the mainstream and their journalists aren't fit for purpose. And um, I think it's there is going to be a, a role in society going forward for citizen journalists. And I think that is a group of people that I'd like to be a part of. So um, I'll probably have to do things a bit more properly <laughs> probably sort of rant uh do a little bit less ranting and a little bit more actual factual <laughs> uh reporting so I might just have to go on and do a quick little udemy course you know from that udemy place that's online that do all sorts of courses just do a 
quick uh, little course in journalism to sort of find out the basics. I did um, actually get myself a uh, uh, one of those as a Christmas for not this one just gone, but the one before. Uh, but I'll have to sort of find out where it is and then actually complete it. And then, yeah, step up to the plate and uh, become a citizen journalist. Now, that probably will mean that, especially if I start doing it on a, uh, a part-time, even a full-time basis eventually. Um, as you know, I'm an electrician at the moment and I go out and about uh, doing my work and I'm not sure how much longer um, I'm going to be able to do that. I'm, I'm kind of got my 58th birthday coming up in a couple of weeks' time. And then from there, of course, it's just a short hop, skip and a jump to my 60th. And I'm starting to think, you know, do I really want to be clambering around in lofts and... Uh, other sort of tight spaces and cupboards and things and on my knees for all day long when you know I've got achy knees I've got a bad back and how much longer will I actually be able to do that for so it would be nice to kind of transition gradually over into uh, uh, kind of a well being a sort of citizen journalist and it's been something I've enjoyed doing. I, I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy researching and reporting on things. And I think that could well be a future for me. Uh, now, going forward, it's not going to be immediate, but going forward, that probably does mean I'm going to have to monetize this channel in some way, shape or form. Um, I'm not sort of uh, really too sure exactly how that will be done. But I don't know there's quite a lot of different ways to do it. I'd rather sort of stay away from doing adverts on here because I, I don't like them. So I know other people won't. Um, so but if I do have them, it'll only be sort of very short ones, not the ones that go on for blimmin' ages. <laughs> but... Uh, you know, it's something I'm going to have to do going forward. You can't live on fresh air after all. Um, it would be nice to not monetize this, but uh, if I'm going to make a bit of a career of this thing, it's probably what I'm going to have to do. And as we go forward, I, well, up to now, should I say, I haven't really wanted to uh, do that, to monetize things, because... Um, I kind of regard myself up to now as being a kind of a bit of a shoulder to cry on, a bit of support uh, for people in a crisis. And I don't really want to be taking advantage of people when they're kind of uh, down. You know, I don't really want to kick a, a man when he's down sort of thing. Um, that's been my attitude up to now. But as we move out of uh, this crisis, um, that won't be quite so applicable perhaps. And if I'm going to provide a proper service of providing proper real news, the kind of news that the mainstream seem to be incapable of doing, um, I think, you know, I'm gonna to have to sort of move to a stage where I'm rewarded for it, especially as I, I may well be spending a good, you know, 20, 30, even 40 hours a week doing it. So that's kind of the plan. It's uh, the monetization thing is not going to happen immediately. It will kind of gradually morph over to that. And I'm not going to go silly with it. I'm not going to be sort of having massive great long adverts on here and telling you to sort of buy stuff every five seconds. But you know, it will be there kind of in the background. And yeah, you know, that is my thoughts. So hopefully, you know, you'll stick with me as I go forward and as I sort of get into my new kind of citizen journalist kind of career. And it will, it will be a slow transition. Um, as I say, I've got a couple of years until I'm 60, so it'll probably take most of those two years to gradually transition over 
until I get to the stage where yeah, I'm doing this most of the time. Um, my electrician stuff, either not at all or only the occasional sort of nice little job uh, that I come across here and there just to keep my hand in with that. So anyway, I've kind of gone on long enough. I'll let you go and look at that consultation uh, that I mentioned at the start of this video. Link will be in the description box below and I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fairplay now, thanks for watching.